Hey there, guys. Today, it's, it's love here. Today, this is gonna be my very first commentary on Peter, on Peter Animate, on Peter Animate's video. I heard online that this user, that a lot of people hate this user for one reason, for showing his private parts on somebody's, for showing private parts on some, on somebody's live stream. I don't know if a Peter anime showing his private parts on live stream is actually true. But it might just be. Anyway, I'm not bashing opinions, but this is gonna be on his rant on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And for those who don't know, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was one of my last interests back in twenty, back in twenty, back in twenty, back in twenty twenty three. I mean, I can handle his opinion, but he still sucks. Anyway, let's begin the commentary without fur and without further ado, let's get let's begin the commentary. Mouse Clubhouse. What? No. More like Mickey Mouse Trap House. Oh my god. This show sucks. <sighs> Nowadays, the more like term is getting old. <laughs> and how does this show suck especially? Can you explain that? This show has ruined the original Mickey Mouse, which was way better than this. Okay, what does the original- <laughs> Okay, and how did it ruin the original Mickey Mouse? Can you explain that, please? I mean, the original Mickey- I mean, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is originally supposed to be, like- Be, like, a version for toddlers so they can learn about stuff? <laughs> I guess. And this show is a toddler version of the original Mickey Mouse? That's what I just said! This show involves these versions of Mickey Mouse characters, and they like to go on stupid adventures. If stupid adventures isn't another word for the failure adventures term, then the stupid adventures and the failure adventures term is getting- is probably getting old nowadays. I can't explain about them, but I must say that the toddler version of them Except for Goofy and Donald Duck are stupid and creepy. The I mean, I get. I mean, I mean, it's a kid. I mean, it's a toddler show. What do you expect? They're bland and not funny. Well, like I said, it's a toddler. It's a show made for toddlers. What do you expect? At the end of every episode, they dance with a stupid song called "Hot Dog." I mean, that song was honestly my childhood because I grew up watching this show. If you hate the song, then I can handle your opinion, but you still suck. What? Hot dog? No way. More like cold cat. Again with the bog names with songs too? That bog name was dumb. This song is so I mean, it's, again, it's a show for toddlers. What do you expect? Thank God I didn't listen to that. Otherwise, it will get stuck in my head. And I feel sorry for the original voice cast of Mickey Mouse, such as Wayne Al Wine, Brett Ewan, Tony and Selma, Ruthie Taylor, Tress McNeil, Bill Farmer, Will Ryan, April Winchell, Jim Cummings, D. Bradley Baker, Frank Welker, Rob Paulson, and Corey Burton for voicing this abomination. <sighs> I mean, they were actually glad. I heard like they're. I think they were actually glad to be voicing in the, to be voicing on the show because they were, because I think a lot of kids actually like Mickey Mouse and they would love to see him have his own TV show. That's all. Like I said, it's a show for toddlers. But wait, there's more. They even have a short spin-off called Minnie's Boat Hoon. I remember this show. Which that show sucks as well. And how does it suck? The animation is shit. And how is the animation... bad? The stories are stupid. And how are they stupid? The music is annoying. Again, it's a tod- Again, it's a show made for toddlers. What do you expect? The songs, including the hot dog song, are childish. It's a kid's show! What do you expect? The theme song is garbage. <laughs> Again, it's a kid's show. What do you expect? The Lyrics to the song are what they spell Mickey Mouse, and that whole show ruined Mickey Mouse. Again, this is this is mostly this show was made for toddlers. What do you expect? I'm sorry if I'm getting on the wing by sucking this rapidly. I cannot believe that I used to watch, like, 
and enjoy this show back then when I was a baby and a little kid. But now I started to hate this show because I'm starting to get too older for this show. And, and it's starting to get too childish for my age. Look, I also used to watch this show back when I was a little. Well, back when I was little and younger. But now that I'm but now that I'm older, I can still watch. I can still now that I'm a teenager, I can still watch the. I can still like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse whenever I want. And not everybody. And not everyone is too child is too old to watch. And not everyone is too old to watch stuff. And not everybody is too old to watch to watch shows from their childhood. Especially ones that are made for toddlers or babies. I can't believe that this show run for a decade. Thank God this show got cancelled in 2016. But somehow it's still airing on Disney Junior, I believe. So that sucks for you. But here's the bad news. Mickey Mouse Mixed Up Adventures started the one year after Mickey Mouse Clubhouse got cancelled. Thank God this show got cancelled in 2021. Again, I, I forgot to say this, but... I forgot to say this, but it's hardly. But you may not know. But celebrating a TV show getting canceled or celebrating a TV show getting taken off the air is absolutely heartless. This show came back known as Mickey Mouse Funhouse. Oh my God, that show is more worse than Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And okay, and how? Anyways, do you know who likes this show, right? Ann and Davis, but I'm fine with her opinion. Thank God. But, thank God, but, I, but according to other users, you're still a childhood destroyer. And do you know who hates this show? Fox and Nick really rule. Junior Boke the Owl, Fred Betts and Bunny Kill a Fan, Lambo Rocks, Jonathan's Media Shack, and Trolls Fan Together Fan 2001. They all made rants on this show, so screw Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. You know what I'll do with your... I'll deal with... I mean, I can deal with your opinion, and all those other people's opinions, but screw you for... And screw you for being a childhood destroyer. Or just being very controversial for whatever you did in people's live streams. And screw Mickey Mouse Funhouse. The original Mickey Mouse is 851,932 times better than Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Okay, what does the original Mickey Mouse have to do anything with this rant? And again, like I said, I'm sorry if I sound like annoying by saying this. It's a ki Mickey Mouse is for kids! What do you expect? Anyway... I don't know what to say about this rant. I'm not gonna say the. I mean, I can handle his opinion on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but to be honest, that rant sucked. I mean, looks like the rant probably had invalid reasons to hang on the show. Okay, what I think had invalid reasons to hang on the show. Um, I it didn't really bash opinions, but but I think it was. But I think he said was. Was forcing people to not watch the show now that they're older, when people could watch the show whenever they want, no matter how old they are. And yeah. Now I feel like after I do this commentary and after this is uploaded, but I feel like if I start a live stream, I feel like this might I feel like Peter might just show his private part on stream. Like what he did to other did in other live streams. I don't know if this part is actually true about Peter. Anyway, end of the commentary. See ya!